We're going to go through three examples on how to project revenue. Uh, the first example we're going to go over is an assets under management example. This is for how mutual funds or asset managers make money. It's going to be a basis point of the assets that they are managing. So here's an example. We have year-to-date revenue through August, and we want to project out the entire year, the rest of the year, September, October, November, and December. And we also know that we've got some new business wins. We have some assets that are going to come in September, and we have some assets that are going to come in in October. So we want to factor that into our revenue. I'm going to take the philosophical stance here on my revenue projection that I'm going to use August and run that forward for the rest of the year. I'm not going to project or I'm not going to try to predict what the market is going to do, whether it's going up, whether it's going to go down. I'm just going to assume August is going to run forward, but then I'm going to layer in my new business wins, my new flows that I'm expecting to come in in September and October to my assets under management. And then I'm going to multiply each month by my average basis point fee, whether I'm running that, whether I have separately managed accounts that I'm charging at an account level, or I'm running a mutual fund, and that's my management fee that I'm charging for managing the mutual fund. We now have all our assumptions layered in on our revenue projection. And on a year-to-date basis on this projection, I have $279 million of assets under management, and I have an average basis point fee of 35 basis points, whether that is at the account level or I'm charging a management fee on an entire mutual fund. So $279 million of assets times 35 basis points, I'm ending up with approximately $977,000 of revenue for the year. That's how you can project revenue for assets under management. And you can use this example anytime you're deriving revenue from another source. This is assets under management. You can do this for insurance premiums, whatever the source might be, times whatever fee you're charging based upon that source. Example number two, we have bonds that we own that are paying us interest. So we're going to project interest revenue for the year. And we're also going to layer in an additional bond purchase in September and layer in the interest income related to that bond as well. The 15 million in bonds that we currently own are yielding 5.5%. In our year-to-date results, we are taking the interest revenue that we are receiving. And you'll notice in this example, you'll see the monthly interest change a little bit. I'm using 365 days. So depending on how many days are in the month, you'll see uh, interest up or down based upon those. Also in this example, I'm layering in an additional $500,000 bond that we purchased in September and it's yielding 6.5%. So we're gonna add that to our revenue projection. Let's run out the $15 million bond at 5.5% interest for the rest of the year. And then let's also layer in that $500,000, 6.5% bond and add those two together and that is going to give me my interest revenue or my projected interest revenue for the rest of the year, which is $835,000 in interest revenue. In our third example, we are selling widgets at an average sale price of $50. So I've already layered in January through August what we've sold and we've generated a little over $3.7 million of revenue. Now we're gonna layer in what we think we're going to sell in September, October, November, and December based upon future orders from our sales team. So we've reached out to our sales team. We have orders that are already in the queue. So we're going to layer those in and see what our projected revenue is going to look like for the year. Based on year to date and what we've gotten from our sales team, we are projecting to sell 88,000 widgets for the year at $50, which will be 4.4 4.4 million of revenue. That is our projected revenue from our sale of widgets. Your homework after watching this video is go find a source of revenue or income in your life, in your job, and see if you can take what you know year to date and fill in the blanks. What is your data that is contributing or generating the revenue? And can you fill in the blanks to get an estimate for the year? Let me know in the comments if you're able to project out revenue or or if you have questions on how to project out revenue, I will happily answer your questions uh, related to this subject. Projecting revenue, great skill, great tool to have in your toolbox. Hope you got something out of this video. Have a good rest of the day. Take care, goodbye, and I'll see you in the next one.